Many months after government reluctantly decided to request an IMF program, it has failed to coordinate and communicate any credible homegrown plan for consideration by the fund and Ghanaians at large. When we approached the fund for a program in 2015, we did so only after putting together a robust homegrown program, which the IMF adopted almost in its entirety, save for a few minor alterations. Ladies and gentlemen, the immediate causes of this economic disaster we face are the unacceptably high public debt occasioned by a reckless borrowing spring and our exceptionally large budget deficits arising out of overexpenditure, as Dr. Atufosin said. These two problems, debts and deficits, have undermined the confidence in our economy and created very serious solvency problems for government. This has set up us on a vicious cycle of debts and even more debts. Because as he explained, we have to borrow to even pay debt. So you borrow to pay your debt. And that continues to become a vicious cycle of debt accumulation. Tackling these twin challenges would mark the beginning of the much needed recovery. We know that some discussions are reported to have been initiated between governments and stakeholders on a domestic debt restructuring plan as part of the preconditions for securing an IMF program. This simply means that after mismanaging the economy and creating this crisis, Ghanaians and others who have invested their hard-earned money in government bonds and other instruments or executed contracts and supply uh, programs awaiting payments will be asked to forfeit a part of their interest due them and, and a significant portion of the principal when it falls due or arrears that are owed to them. This is a very difficult and most unfair and unjust proposition. It is not for innocent people, investors and business owners to lose their investment when those who took the decisions and whose incompetence and mismanagement have brought us to this situation are not only still at post, but are being praised and protected by the president. The president must not only replace his finance minister, he must also reconstitute and take control of the economic management team himself. Thank you.